I'm Jo and I am going to talk about Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff. It was just announced that this is a National Book Award finalist and I just read it. Look at this cover too. It's beautiful. This is the story of a marriage told from first the husband's perspective and then the second part is from the wife's perspective. So it starts with the husband. His name is Lancelot. He's called Lotto. Um, he was born into privilege in Florida. Um, he is white and male and his family had money. But then uh, when he was young, his father suddenly passed away. And when he was a young teenager, he started to run with the wrong crowd and get into trouble. The first time he got into trouble and was actually arrested, his mother sent him the very next day off to New England to a boarding school. And at that boarding school, he didn't really fit in until finally he discovered drama and acting. And even though he wasn't the most uh, beautiful person, he developed a very charming personality and he made up for that with his personality and he got quite the reputation with women. He meets his wife, Mathilde, very close to graduation, a couple weeks before graduation, and they are married like two weeks later. It was whirlwind. It happened very quickly, and it kind of made you raise your eye. Lotto was a very emotional person. Whatever he did, he did with all of his passion, so it wasn't exactly out of character. Mathilde appears to be an extremely supportive, angelic wife all through Lotto struggling with becoming an actual paid actor after graduating from college. He struggles for several, several years and she just seems to be this steadfast, amazing wife and always has a smile on her face. So finally we get to the second half of the story and we learn more about Mathilde. This is where things get very interesting and some skeletons fall out of closets and all these secrets are revealed and her life is explained, her beginning, how she got to where she was and uh, exactly what her motivation for life was and it is interesting. I don't want to say too much about Mathilde's story because that's where things just really start uh, wow, things start getting crazy and you're like, oh my gosh. And neither of these characters are particularly likable. You know, Lotto is full of himself and um, especially when his career becomes successful and it's just an odd story, but it's a story of a marriage and it's surprisingly short to cover and encapsulate a lifetime. This is all of Lotto's life, this is all of Mathilde's life and their marriage. The writing is very succinct. It kind of reminded me of um, Hemingway, how he was always after the perfect sentence. He would chop words out until it was bare bones, telling you exactly what you needed to know. Then it also reminded me of Gatsby in that the characters weren't likable, yet you were compelled to read their story. So that's what I thought about this book. I enjoyed it and I'm glad I read it and it is a beautiful cover. I highly recommend this book. I would love to hear what you think about it if you did read it. And I, it's very interesting how we can enjoy books even when we don't like the characters or agree with them. That's one of the things that I love about The Great Gatsby. Let me know what you thought about it down below and I will talk to you later. Bye.